Hello and welcome everybody to another quick tutorial In this tutorial uh, I want to play this one ah, from here See this is what we will create today A barrel fall down and it fracture according to the wood See I, the geometry is fractured as a wood and there is a metal that will bend due to the collision and break and stretch using Houdini okay so I'll just give you a quick preview about the file that I created stop and we go here so this is the scene I go to the first frame I'll just go through the tree it's a straightforward nothing complicated it's nothing fancy so here we have a barrel And as you can see in this barrel, there is metal, there is wood. I transformed it, give it uh, a rotation so it will not land on its face, uh, on its edge. I copy it multiple times so they fall on each other. Like this. So we have some interaction between them, each one on different angle. Then, after I merge them, here I blast it according to the groups. Because if you look here, if you press S and 9, you will see the groups. See, there's a couple of groups coming with the file. Group for the metal, for the wood. This is nine again, so they are all merged. At the beginning, I started with only one geometry, and after I finished the tree to make things faster, I added the other ones. So I classed and I used this group alone, delete the non selected. So cancel, so it's only the metal. Here we have part of the wood, and this is another part of the wood. Okay, so for these two parts, I combine them together because uh, they are all the same. Now here, I uh, added all of the geometry as a group, and I call it metal. I scattered some points, not too many, just a little bit, just to for the sake of demonstration. Otherwise, you can bump this one up. And then the RBD, oh, can't close. Let it, uh, let it cook again. Just give it a second while it uh, evaluate. So we have some fractures. And then I back all of it as an RBD back. So the geometry, the proxy, and the constraint all back together. On the other side, I did the same thing. I group it all in a group called wood, all of the geometry. I scatter some bones, only 100, should be more. Cancel. Wow. I fracture it. Especially with wood, uh, more splinter will be better. The wood will take long time to fracture. So let's assume it's done. Close. I backed it. I merged them together. And just wait for it to populate here. Just in a second. Please, if you like uh, my tutorials, the demonstration, please subscribe and like and comment so I may, can make this channel grow up more and more. Hopefully to add more tutorials. Thank you, guys. Also, I'm learning from the community. So it's taking a while now. I'll pause till it is uh, finished. So, 
just because it was taking too long time, as I mentioned, I disconnected the other three barrels and went back to the first one. So here it's merged back again together. Then I went out and I unpack all of the geometry because when it's packed, it's just dots. Okay, that's why I re unpack it so it will. Uh, will come uh, as the geometry, the constraint, and the proxy. Now I take it from here. In this tree, first, I use the RPD constraint from a rule. Why? Because I want uh, a connection. Let's assume there will be, let's go here back again, there will be nails. So between the metal and the wood, I want some constraints. So there will be, uh, of course, constraint uh, between each pieces of the wood, and there will be constraint between each pieces of the metal. But I want between metal and wood separated. Okay, so that's why I use the RBD constraint from a rule. And here, I uh, because at the top here we make groups for each uh, geometry. I choose the rule to be group to group, and I choose wood and metal. So it's from wood to metal. And I call it connectors. Okay. Then I created the RBD constraint property. So as you can see here, see. And I choose uh, a glue constraint, and I color it in. Uh, I'll change the color to green, so you can see. So okay, as you can see, it's between the metal and the wood. Also, here uh, the channel, uh, connection type I, ch I choose surface. There is hinge and also center of point, but I choose the surface. Okay. So now we have these constraints at this strength. Then I went to the wood because I have a constraint in the wood but I want to give it uh, a, materi a material type physical attribute so for the wood I choose the group wood and I choose uh, physical attribute wood and oak dry and clean surface I repeat the same thing for the metal so for the metal here so it's metal the group is metal and I'm giving it the physical property of a metal that is iron so it's heavy so it can break the geometry more then I went to the RBD solver I created one only I added a ground and uh, nothing fancy here no need for visualization you can tweak the glue here but I didn't do the only thing I did in the metal is I created a soft uh, constraint to switch to as a second from the glue. When the glue break, it will switch to soft. Then what I did, I went from the RBD solver, I took the output, and I took the high res geometry, and I added RBD deforming piece only for the group that is metal that have the soft constraint, so it will blend between the angles according to the radius. After that, I merge all of the geometry together, the wood and the metal, and I cache it. At the top, I created uh, a ground plane and give it uh, some material. These are the barrel. I created this, uh, one, two, this, uh, four light setup, one from the top. The key light is from the side, and the fill light, and this light for the background. And this is my camera. So if we run it, I'll, I'll do a flip book quickly and come back. So here is a quick uh, flip book. Of course, when you increase the fracturing points, you will have more accurate and uh, plausible uh, fracture and deformation. Okay.
No. Let's see, let's go back here. Then when I render uh, the output, I included uh, a depth uh, bath, okay? And I rendered it out. Now, in a new, just quickly what I did, uh, I imported the EXR files. In the EXR files, you can have the depth. So if you look here at the red, see, it's there. If I would create. Not a great, but, but anyway, here RBG RGB. So, this focal point, if you change the output from the result to the focal plan, just give it a second. So, this is where it focuses. If I go to the back, so it's focusing on the wall. If I go to the front, this is the front. This is exactly so it's uh, replicating or simulating the real uh, DSL photography with the F number. If you have a big F, um, num uh, F number, F stop number, like uh, 1.4, 1.2, 2.8, so you have uh, a shallow depth of field or a bokeh. Okay, so let's, let me put it as a result and I'll just zoom. Like if I put it on the wall, everything is out of focus except the wall. If I put it on this metal object, so see, this one is in focus and everything else is out of focus. If I go back, this is focus, this is out of focus. If I go to the barrel, it's in focus, everything else is not in focus. So it is uh, selling out some of the realism. Look more, uh, more realistic so if i disable it see it look artificial and uh, cgi now here it look more fancy and it can be animated but for like a uh, focus uh, ball but uh, later on okay so and i just added the text and merge it together and write it and finally i just render out a uh, total of uh, 90 frames just for demonstration you see how they are uh, uh, glued together so they are not breaking and this one see the out of focus this is in focus this is completely out of focus and this is a very nice splinter and wood fracture Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you like it and uh, leave your comments down below. See you next time. Thank